Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All the scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. The word of God. These are from the Lord. God-breathed. And these are useful for teaching. So if it comes to you as a teaching, friends, then learn from it. The Lord is teaching us through his words. And be open to it. Accept it. And grow in knowledge and grow in wisdom. God is gracious. And he gives us his word to teach us all things that we shall not perish with the world. See, God had said that my people perish for lack of knowledge because they don't accept the word as a teaching. Amen. And there are times when the word of God will come to you as a rebuke. If it's a rebuke, friends, accept it. Admit your sin. Don't justify yourself. The word of God is already telling you that it's wrong, that it's wrong. It will rebuke you. It will tell you what's wrong with what you're doing. And don't harden your heart. Rather, be humble and say, Lord, forgive me. Amen. If the Lord comes to you, friends, with the rebuke, then Lord, forgive me. Sometimes, friends, you hear a word. You read the Bible and you read something that would rebuke you, that would remind you or would tell you that you are doing wrong. Then don't justify yourself. Don't hide your sin. Rather expose them and admit, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm guilty. Guilty as charged. Hallelujah. Then the Lord be gracious to you and he will forgive. Amen. There are times when the word of God will come to us to correct us. Yes. There are times when we are not going the right path and he will come to correct that. No, that's the wrong path. And he will redirect us. And sometimes, friends, we feel pain. When God comes to redirect us, it's painful. Because again, we have to change course. Now, you, there would be some sacrifices. But still, friends, allow yourself to be corrected because you are going the wrong path. Amen. He will correct our attitude. He will correct the way that we think. Our, our own ideas he will correct. Friends, let the Lord correct us through his words. Amen. Very clearly, the Lord will come to us and say that you are wrong in this area. And remember, friends, that uh, uh, when he speaks, well, you can go through the scripture and he will tell you the same thing. You cannot justify and use one scripture to fight the other scripture. No. They are consistent with one another. And there are times, friends, when the word of God will come to train us. And it's so true. What we are doing today, friends, listening to the word every day is part of our training. We come to know all these things and we are being strengthened. We are being disciplined. See, when we are being trained in righteousness, friends, we shall reap a great harvest. So, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so that's part of our training, friends. Listen, listen, listen. It's like an indoctrination. See, the Lord will keep pounding on us some messages that we need that we may live holy and blameless lives and that we can overcome challenges that will come our way. So let us be trained by the word of God. Hallelujah. And you know who the trainer is? Jesus himself. So today, friends, Let's receive this word for each one of us. Amen. So what you are hearing today, friends, well, if it's a teaching, well, accept it now. Amen. Learn from it. If it's a rebuke, well, for, ask God, forgive, Lord. Repent. If it's correction, well, change course. Uh, don't harden your heart. Don't be stiff-necked. And if it's training, enjoy it. You are being strengthened. So the word of God is alive. Friends, enjoy listening every day. Enjoy reading your Bible every day. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord wants us to do today. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom, his peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.